Hello, what is up, nice fine people of YouTube? It's W233444. Uh, no, I have not made a Dark Souls 2 video. Um, it's mainly because the PS3 setup takes too long. And even if I do get it set up, it's still kind of wonky. So, I don't know. Um, if you guys want more, you can just leave a comment. Uh, I'm not that far in the game. Well, I, I can't say that. I'm, pr I'm pretty far in the game. Um, but I wanted to show you guys something here. Um, I recently joined my first covenant, which is the uh, Dragon Covenant, um, and you get a, some, you get like something really sweet from it. Obviously, you get uh, Dragon Eye um, that you put on the ground, and it's sort of like it's a, it's a PvP uh, dueling covenant. And each time you win a PvP battle, you get what's you get a Dragon Scale, and I'll show you. Uh, I'll talk about that later. But when you get 30 Dragon Scales and you give them to uh, the merchant at Iron Keep, you get these two things. You get the Dragon Torso Stone and the Dragon Head Stone. And um, when you also reach, when you reach 30, you get this, uh, you get the Black Dragon Greatsword that I have in my hand right here. Um, when you reach 10, when you give 10 of them to the guy, you get the Head Stone. And then when you get 20 of them, you get the Torso. So what's cool about this is it's just like something else. So if you click square, I'm playing on PS3 by the way, it actually transforms your head into a dragon armor head, which is pretty nice. And I'll show you the effect uh, that it, it actually has some pretty nice things that it can do. Um, but let me go on to the torso. When you get the torso, um, it's actually pretty nice. You don't have to get separate uh, chests, gauntlets, and uh, uh, leg armor, whatever you want to call them. Uh, so then you go ahead and click that, and bam, you got the complete dragon, uh, black dragon armor set. Um, it actually does change your armor, um, so you can see the black dragon helm, black dragon armor, black dragon gauntlets, and the ba black dragon leggings. Um, it's pretty nice because they're really lightweight. Um, <laughs> they're really light. like the separate pieces are pretty lightweight, so you can you know do your rolls and everything. Um, me myself, I prefer to go one-handed and have a shield. Um, but there is a Black Dragon shield, which is really nice. Um, I wish I had it. But you actually have to farm uh, Black Dragon Knights in the Dragon Shrine. So I've been doing that for a while. Put my gestures cap on and all that. But it hasn't been uh, going really well. So hopefully I'll be able to complete the entire set. But um, I will show you the powers now, and then I'll explain how to join the Dragon Covenant. Um, so if you go to the headstone, um, after you're done using it to get the Black Dragon Helmet, um, if you hold it, you actually breathe fire, which is pretty sick. You can keep breathing it um, as long as you have stamina. Whoops. Put my sword away. Uh, for the Torso Stone, if you click it, it's sort of like a dragon shout war cry sort of thing that you do there um it just knocks foes back so i mean it's not i wouldn't call it not effective but it's i wouldn't use that in an actual battle especially pvp um with all the lag and pvp and everything it took me it, it probably it took me uh, maybe four hours to get all the all the stuff and then it took me not that long to join the covenant but I will show you how to join the covenant, covenant, but you have to have the dragon shrine unlocked first. Um, unfortunately, hopefully these loading screens aren't too long. <laughs> I don't know because the editing process is sort of wonky on the some new software that I have. So, okay, that wasn't too bad. Um, I'm gonna try to run through this while wearing this armor. I don't know how that's gonna go. I'm seeing as I'm mainly used to wearing uh, the other armor, but first you're gonna head up the stair, the staircases. Dodge the big ugly knight dude, and here is my favorite guy. I hate him a lot. I was actually able to dodge that. See, look at that. The other times I came up here to farm the dragon knights, um, who actually have this armor. Um, one of them has the shield, and one of them one of them has a shield and an axe, oh no, a mace, and then the other one has a. Um, two axes. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here. You see those big guys? They're like, we're gonna get you. Well, too bad. I'm just gonna roll down here. It's just that simple. Hopefully they don't fall down here. <laughs> that has not been known to happen. I don't think. 
because they back off. But when you come down here, there's going to be two chests. Um, you're going to want to watch out for the one on the right that is a mimic. Um, the one on the left is perfectly fine. And you're going to head through these doors. I mean, you're going to head through this small little corridor right there. Right here. And you're going to see this guy. Now, this guy's a pain in the ass. Um, if you can kill him, be my guest. Go ahead and do it. Um, but for me, I just... Uh, literally, I just sat back and threw stuff at him to get him out of the way. Um, and once you get this door open, then, you know, everything will be all gravy. And if you come back here and decide to come up here for some reason, which I don't know why you would, because there's no reason to, um, well, besides what I'm about to show you, but, uh, those doors behind him will be open just like they were for me. And when you come up here, you're going to see that you've been invaded by, uh, a, a dark spirit. Um, he's pretty easy to kill. Um, all you have to do is, you know, have a shield. Um, I really like having a shield like, uh, the Drainlick shield. I um, mean, because it absorbs 100% damage. But, um, the thing about his attacks is they're really fast. So, I mean, if you just dodge this side, he'll just be like, raw, raw, except faster. But then his back will be turned to you and you can just, like, murder him. Um, once you kill him, up here will be a petrified dragon egg. So, what you want to do is you want to grab that. And you are going to head to the merchant in the Iron Keep. But first, um, if you have a, a Homeward Bone, uh, you might want to drop down here, get whatever you need. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of here real quick, and I will show you, and I will continue to explain. Um, the hardest thing about PvP, uh, the Dragon Covenant, is that you kind of lose confidence, but I mean, it, it, I, I, at first I was like, okay, this isn't possible, this is insane. Everybody in this covenant, because you, you battle people in your covenant, so. I mean, all you have to do is, you know, click square, lay down the dragon eye, and then people will, like, hey, I want to, I want to fight you, you know? Hey, come on, bring it on. And it sucks that the loser doesn't get anything, obviously, because this is Dark Souls and they have to make everything difficult. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's, it's 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 not as hard as it seems uh, it gets frustrating at times especially with the lag but you just have to get used to it a, a nice tip for a PvP uh, when you're noticing that there's lag or just in general um, if they are swinging at you just do a dodge roll don't try to run from it don't try to block it um, because you know the lag will just like go crazy and then if you see somebody in front of you and you're like oh they're in front of me I'll just pull out my shield and block it Magically, you get backstabbed, so I mean, it's the lag is pretty bad um, in this. So, as you can see, look, I can summon other members of the Covenant, but there's no, there's, I really don't have a need to because I already got all the pieces. Unless I was trying to help people out, which I, I don't know. Like some of these people are like literal backstabbers. Like you'll, you'll, you'll lay down your eye, and then you'll go, and then you'll get summoned, and then they'll try to like come up behind you when you get summoned like you'll be summoned facing this way and then they'll be behind you and then you have to dodge roll and all that and a lot of people use magic which is really hard i don't use magic so so when you get the petrified dragon egg you're gonna come and talk to this fine gent over here and then you give it to him and there is an option to enter the covenant so then you offer him dragon scales and you know 30 like as i said once you hit 10 you get the headstone that breathes fire and once you hit 20 you get the torso stone that does the dragon shout I think I'm gonna call it and you get the armor um, and when you hit 30 you get the great sword um, what I realized is that this great sword uh, when compared to and I know a lot of people like uh, the drain like sets so set of armors and uh, weaponry so I'm gonna show so this is my Drenlik sword. I haven't spent much time on it because I like to diversify my weapons. I have a lot of plus five weapons just hanging around here. I like got the bottom and such. Um, I also have a few boss soul weapons, the thorn great sword. Um, I also have the, where is it? Where is it? Yep, King's mirror. Anyway, yeah, so the black dragon great sword isn't that good unless you get it to at least rank three. I have it at two. Um, I actually tested out the damage versus the Drain Lick Sword um, against this healthy looking guy up here. Um, let's see, I'll show you. One swipe, do about 141. Now, if it'll leave me alone here. 
I think he will. I don't think he... I don't even know this guy's uh, range of movement here. Do you have a range of movement? Or do I have to breathe fire on you? Because the fire breath really doesn't... It doesn't help anything. I mean, it's not... It's not that effective, which... I mean, when I first figured that out, I'm like, oh, that... It kind of wasted my time. But not really. I mean, you get a cool armor set, so I mean, it's... Not really a waste. Plus, the armor set is light, durable. It's okay. Um, nothing compared compared to the Drenlik set, obviously, because heavy armor is better. But um, 141 uh, with that hit um, with my Drenlik sword, I will see how much it does. I know it does do a fair amount of damage. Come on out. That's two. You see, and that's that's the thing, though. I mean, you get like close as close to the drain lick sword as you can, and obviously you have to upgrade um, the you have to upgrade uh, the the black dragon great sword with petrified dragon bones. So it's not that it's not that easy to get, um, and it's 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 okay. It's an okay sword, um, but I usually stick with the drain lick great sword. <laughs> great sword, so yeah, the drain lick. Uh, the Drenlik Sword or Great Sword. I um, mean, it's funny because I upgraded this once with Twinkling Tyrant, uh, Twinkling Tyranite or whatever it's called, and I got. You can see the damage on it. I mean, it's, and this is only rank one. This is insane. But um, yeah, I'm comparing it the other things. I can compare the armor. I don't have the Drenlik, um, helmet, but I do have a rank eight helmet. Rank eight helmet has a lot more stuff. Um, obviously the armor that I have, I do have the Looking Glass Knight set as well, but it's a different story. Obviously, this is going to have some more perks to it. Um, if you can, you can pause the video and take a look at it. Um, I apologize if I'm going too fast. I hate it when people say, oh, you can pause the video and look at it, but then they go like, ooh, and then you have to like time the pausing perfectly. But um, yeah, so that's the video. Um, I will uh, try to get a try to get the shield. I really wanted to complete the set of armor because I mean, b let's be honest. This looks this looks awkward. I mean, I mean aside from having a dragon's head, I mean the, the shield, the Drenlik shield, looks awkward on uh, on this whole set. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you later. Peace.